Hello, besties, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl, Jazzy J on the mic, and this is Earth Vibes Tarot. Y'all already know what it is. This is a Capricorn only channel, but everybody is very welcome here. But of course, this is for my Capricorn besties. I love and appreciate y'all so, so much. Let's go ahead and get into your career and money reading here. Capricorn, we are going to take a look at February 2024 for you guys for career, money, finance, all of that good stuff. So sit back, relax, and take a chance, my babes. Make sure you guys smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. Just don't forget to make sure that you guys are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of moi. Capricorn, let's go ahead and get into... February 2024, please spirit for my Capricorn friends that are coming here for this career money finance reading. What do they need to know or be aware of? Career money finance, February 2024. So we have activation and crafter. I really like this energy. Activation, you are activating your soul's purpose in receiving gifts. Awaken your soul and tap into your ancestral memory and inner wisdom. And then the the negative connotation here would be focusing too much on the material world instead of the spiritual world. So I really love this energy and I want to I want to tell you why because this is what we've been talking about. We've been talking about stepping into your purpose, really forging forward and you know, being in your craft, being in your light, being in your um yourself, Capricorn, really showing who you are. And this crafter energy is just that. A talent is waiting to be expressed with your hands. Uh, homemade products, jewelry, or some kind of craft project, and then start a small business at home by creating novelties by hand. So some of you are quite literally working with your hands, crafting, scrapbooking, taking photos, things of that nature. And others of you are really being asked to step into your purpose of your craft, of your work, of what you're supposed to be doing or dealing with here. With real estate and counselor, at the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Some of you are gonna to have to either move, relocate, or you're gonna be looking in a new area, basically. Like you're going to be stepping your energy into a new area. This is like a void somewhere you haven't necessarily been before. Just understand that you are protected. Maybe you haven't traveled to this area. Maybe you haven't um, been here, done this before. Maybe you, um, just really haven't experienced something like this, it's okay. You're protected. You are guided. The real estate card states any dealings in real estates will be profitable at this time. Realtor, loan officer, appraiser, any career in real estate. So some of you may be stepping into going to school for real estate. Some of you may be looking for a loan, looking for uh, money or financial assistance for your business or career, and you are receiving that. Some of you could use an actual um, financial coach or counselor through this. And, and some of you are actually going to be getting a practice, getting a place, getting a um, a job as it relates to a counselor, as it relates to a healer, as it relates to a coach of some sort, right? And you're going to be sharing your gift in that light. So just really be open to how this message is going to hit you and going to sit with you, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get some tarot on the board. Angel spirits and guides, thank you so much for bringing us together here for this career money finance reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So the Wheel of Fortune coming out strong right let's just let's just say the least it's coming out very strong and this is having a lot to do with the luck and the fate that's coming into your life um, I do feel like this is going to be a large uh, a quantitative and qualitative change so you're going to be seeing the financial aspects of this and the physical aspects of this but you're also going to be feeling this very deeply Capricorn this is putting you in a new direction putting you in a new light um, really going to be expressive of yourself of who you are um, 
And basically what you have to give here, Capricorn, two major arcana coming out back to back is showing you that this is going to be a really fluid and positive change here in your life and something that's going to be large in charge. And it's going to make you feel really, really good with this world energy. It's Saturnian energy. This is going to be something that makes you feel complete inside or it's something that you're doing, your purpose, your path that makes you feel quite complete. Um, it's it's going to activate you in a way that you've never been activated before here. So this is a stack. We're not going to keep this whole stack, but I'm going to show you Capricorn, King of Wands, Judgment, the Star, Ten of Wands, how powerful this energy is. You're really being asked and you are actually shouting out and giving your light. It's like you don't really care what other people have to say and you shouldn't. You don't really care what other people got going. You're just doing your own thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eight of Wands. We love it because you're doing what? You're giving your light. You're giving your love. You're giving your energy here, Capricorn. And this is all about this fluidity. This is all about this abundance, this success that's going to be coming into your life. You are... <sighs> I feel like this is this is you quickly moving into a new direction. This is spirit's way of pushing you, driving you in a new direction here as well. I feel like you're just receiving a, a manifestation. This is infinite abundance. The eight of wands can also be messages, but it's like energy here, Capricorn. It really feels like fluidity and it feels like energy that's coming in. We're going to clarify this here. Tell us a little bit more about this Eight of Wands as it relates to activation for Capricorn. I feel like this is, it's coming from the divine down to you. I feel like you are being struck with inspiration. You're being struck with opportunity here. Yeah, the magician. Absolutely, right? I feel like you have this magic, this power that's that's within you that you're you're giving something that's been like tucked away tucked within here Capricorn I feel like you're finally expressing 100% of who you are of what this is this is it's like you are the magic you are the energy page of pentacles it's yeah you taking on new opportunities you really being studious you going after these opportunities i feel like you're using this internal wisdom this um like how this how this card states your inner wisdom and ancestral memory in order to really tap in and activate this energy within you. And this is something that's brand new, right? This is something brand spanking new or something that you may have not been necessarily inspired to do previously. There's this surge of inspiration. There's this surge of drive that comes in right there's this surge of energy give us one more here for the eight of wands as it relates to activation for capricorn definitely new opportunities something that you have manifested and created and you're doing this from the heart yeah definitely coming from the heart you have very balanced emotions here around the situation, Capricorn, I definitely feel like it fills you up with light. It fills you up with love. Like I said earlier, it just fills you with joy. It feels really, really good. Mm. Bottom of the deck, hang man. Eight of cups, six of pentacles. It's like you're finally taking on an opportunity that you... may have not necessarily known was there before or you have been waiting for it to arrive. Tell us about this Wheel of Fortune. It also feels like something comes in here. Like there's this um, major, major change here. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, it's like...
it feels like there's some sort of reward that comes in here for you, Capricorn. Yeah, the fool is at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords. I almost feel like there's some sort of reward or congratulations because this is really looking at some sort of wish fulfilling energy here for you. But I feel like life takes a a turn, right? And when you turn around, there's this sense of congratulations, there's a sense of fulfillment. It feels like you are You have a lot to give. You have a lot to offer here. There's there's something really beautiful about this. And with the Fool and the Ten of Cups, definitely taking a chance on something, having to take a chance on something. This offer opportunity that comes in, some of you may have to actually either relocate or do something differently here. Especially with this Eight of Cups. Maybe it's moving home. Like moving your home somewhere else. Tell us a little bit more about the Wheel of Fortune, the world and the Eight of Cups and specifics to moving. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune, the World Card, and the Eight of Cups and specifics to moving. Some of you may be moving by the ocean. I literally just like tasted Old Bay in my mouth. We, <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, maybe this is having to do with love, emotion. Something that fills you up with joy. Maybe this is involving a person here, Queen of Swords. Give us one more here. And the King of Pentacles. It feels like there's a very logical and fulfilling opportunity here that may be surrounded by some sort of a move relocation type energy. It brings a lot of um, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment here. The Devil, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Some of you aren't wanting to, to do this. Some of you aren't wanting to either relocate, move, or go in a new direction here. Especially, I'm telling you... With this real estate energy, it feels like this is involving house home type situation in conjunction to the job here. Let's take a look at this crafter energy. We're going to grab some more oracle cards here for this situation. We're taking a look at the energy of crafter for Capricorn. You're definitely a novice in this, yeah, spiritual gifts. Hello, my love. You're definitely a novice in whatever this is, Capricorn, but this is a part of who you are. This is a part of what you have to give. Yeah, it's deeply rooted in your life. It's deeply rooted in your soul and your spirit here. Show us more for the energy of crafter. Dimension traveler deja vu in time factor. Yeah, it's like it was a matter of time. Um, you may have been picking up on this energy before, like it may have felt like in your dreams or just, just even in your soul that you've done this before because you have, um, Capricorn, this is a part of who you are and what you have to give, but it's like, it wasn't your time. Now is your time to give this. Now is your time to offer this. And it's because of 
the increased talent, skills, and abilities, detox tea, clean eating, exactly, and the internal work that you have done. It was like you weren't ready um, to give yourself in that manner. Now you are because of the work that you have done. It was a matter of time. It was a matter of time, Capricorn. I'm just going to be honest here. You are getting ready to experience something quite life-changing. Um, it, it's changing the course and, and directory of your destiny and your fate. You're closing out, yes, certain cycles here in your life and you're moving towards new ones. This is you becoming aligned with your higher purpose and, and what you truly are supposed to be giving here um, and offering to the world and offering to, to others. And this is, a, again, specific to, you know, your niche. This is specific to who you are. Um, this is specific. This is specific to you, right? This is obviously going to be you stepping into your power, you stepping into a spiritual gift in a, in a light that you're supposed to be giving here. Not everybody's is going to be the same, clearly. So we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit, the Emperor with the Six of Pentacles. So there's definitely a an offer that comes in here. I feel like you're going to be internalizing it a little bit, but um, a part of this is, again, not hiding who you are, Capricorn. The Hermit and the Two of Swords, very introspective, very self focus, really um, internalizing a lot of different things, going within the self. But there's a lot that you have to offer in, in conjunction to this, like in relation to this. You have a lot to offer here. There's a lot internally that spirit wants you to give externally. And this is a part of your offer, your opportunity. This is coming in um, a very like this isn't a competitive market I feel like too with the five of wands the two of wands here but I feel like you were finally in flow with the who what when where why and how um and it feels really good here Capricorn this is about you know showing it, it they want me to say the reality of the situation this is like you showing the reality of the situation there's a there's a grand offer and whether this is something that you're gonna have to put together yourself or something that's quite literally being handed to you you're gonna see this right and and some of you are gonna have to 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 excuse me deduce you know if I want this to happen I'm gonna have to take action here and others of you are gonna be given this opportunity because it is a physical um hand-to-hand -hand kind of exchange tell us about the hermit and the two of swords here for capricorn as it relates to the crafter tell us about the hermit and two of swords for capricorn as it relates to the crafter So you have the world coming out twice here now. The seven of wands and the ace of swords, bro. Stop. Stop trying to control the narrative, right? Stop trying to control the narrative here. Allow yourself to be seen. Allow yourself to be visualized. Um... Don't resist, right? I, I really feel like this is a, a resistance to the beauty of who you are, the magnitude of what you have to give, the hard work that you have put in. Don't allow yourself to succumb and manipulate the, the narrative because of what you think others think. That's not your business. 
You know what I mean? Like what others think, what others' opinion is, is is not your business. That's their business. Your business is being authentic and showing who you truly are. And I feel like you have a lot to to give and to inspire um, against the destruction and against the illusion and the and the falsity. I feel like you you offer a glimmer of hope here, Capricorn. Tell us about this Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit here. Tell us about, excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. We've got the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Swords coming out twice here. So this is definitely something that you don't see coming. I feel like this is a relationship or some sort of contractual agreement here. The Page of Cups, yeah, there's some sort of relationship contractual agreement that you don't see coming that's going to quite literally change your life. It almost feels like somebody is finally offering or accepting something, finally giving this to you, finally, like you're finally receiving the break that you've been looking for. But there's something that you don't see here, but there's definitely some sort of collaboration or collaborative agreement um, that's going to be offered here to you, Capricorn. Palmer snores like a grown man. Oh my goodness. We're going to close this message out here for Capricorn. As it relates to this activation crafter energy for career and finance and money for February 2024. Okay, so we'll keep that one. This is too many. I thought it was just like two or three. It's like four or five. Let's get one or two more here. Okay, so you have number 15, number 17, and number seven. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. That's the cracker. You have number 17, love. Love surrounds you, or love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Number 17. And then number 15, the key, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. Capricorn, this feels like a very positive and surprising, fortunate event that comes into your life, something that is filled with love and filled with emotion and filled with um, authenticity. It's definitely... Again, something that's going to bring a, a great change to your life here. Something that you're going to have to really show who you truly are. Spiritual gifts. You're going to have to show who you truly are. To reap the ultimate benefit here, this is about showing who you truly are. You're being, you're being congratulated. You're being awarded. There is this massive shift that occurs if you let it, but then also giving yourself because of this shift, because of who you, who you are and what you can craft. Capricorn, I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll speak to you in the next one.